elementary school girl is suing Portland Public Schools and others for $9 million. The lawsuit claims an after-school program did not protect the third grader from a sexual assault at school. Uh, Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar has been pouring through the court documents all day. Disturbing details. Paulina, what can you tell us? Riel and Pete, the details in these court documents are very disturbing. At the time, the little girl was just nine years old, and the lawsuit states that in third, during her third grade year, 2022, there were several incidences of sexual assault by four male students here at Scott Elementary. A new lawsuit accuses employees at Scott Elementary in Northeast Portland and those working for an after-school program there of negligence and failing to prevent sexual assault on a nine-year-old student in 2022. The suit asking for $9 million in damages from Portland Public Schools, Multnomah County, and the nonprofit Latino Network, which runs the after-school program, lays out a series of alleged attacks on the third grader. The first when a classmate touched her genitals over her clothing during a class taught by a district educator. The second, when another student kissed her without her permission. And the third, when two students in an after-school program threatened her, followed her to the bathroom, locked her in a stall, and took turns sexually assaulting her against her will. The father of one of those male students involved learned from the incident from their child and reported it to staff at Scott Elementary School. The lawsuit claims that PPS interviewed the nine-year-old without immediately notifying her family and suspended the boys involved for one day. PPS released a statement to Fox 12 saying that they are investigating, are mandatory reporters, and must report any instance of possible child abuse and neglect to DHS. According to one mother, Scott Elementary failed to notify parents. It is the school's obligation to give parents the opportunity with a situation as major as that to decide whether we want to send our kids back to that school or not. And that was taken from me. Skill Reward has two children currently enrolled at Scott Elementary. My kids I thought were safe at that school. These are people I thought I could trust with my children and I was wrong. At the time, her daughter was in the same third grade class as the nine-year-old and became friends. They just always had such a good time. And then um, one day I went to pick my daughter up and she didn't know what happened to her friend. The lawsuit claims that in the days after the alleged attack, the nine-year-old's father removed her from the school. The Latino Network said in a statement that it became aware of the lawsuit on Tuesday. This news is painful to our staff, our board, and the communities we serve. We take the allegations very seriously. Portland police reviewed the case but say it didn't meet their criteria for assigning an investigator because the alleged suspects were legally ineligible for criminal liability due to their age. Nobody has the right to do that to anybody. If they see this, I just want them to know they are not alone. Multnomah County, a sponsor for the after-school program, has declined to comment. We did learn that the girl did get support from CARES Northwest. She is now 11 years old and attends a different school. Katie, the mother that we spoke to, says she plans to remove her kids from Scott Elementary. Reporting in Northeast Portland, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon. Paulina.